It's Tuesday, January 8th, and time for your Bobby This Today morning news update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Police and officials from the Teachers Union are probing an incident at an undisclosed primary school yesterday, even as thousands of students return to the classroom today. An unknown man barged onto the school's compound as teachers were attending the meeting in preparation for today's opening. No one was reportedly injured, but President of the Barbados Union of Teachers, Sean Spencer, said the security breach could have resulted in a more serious outcome. He said the manner in which the intruder entered the school caused some staff to be alarmed, forcing them to flee for fear of their safety. What essentially happened was an individual walked onto the school, school compound and it was a case where persons then recognized there was some degree of alarm that was raised. A janitor locked, managed to lock herself up out of the way just to keep out of harm's way. The gentleman in turn apparently grabbed keys from some member of staff, entered the classroom, and threw a television and other stuff across the room. The majority of staff would have been in a staff meeting at that point in time, which would be teaching staff. The police would have been alerted to the situation and responded. And when they served the area, the individual was not found. But it gives rise to a situation where the staff is now unsettled. Spencer told Bobby this today this incident, along with other security breaches, will be among top agenda items to be discussed at a planned meeting later this month with the Ministry of Education. Government's plan to tackle the worrisome issue of backlogs in the criminal justice system by appointing additional judges is on hold until repairs at the Supreme Court complex are completed. That's according to Attorney General Dale Marshall. Minister Marshall tells Barbados today the three additional judges promised was not feasible at this time as there are not enough secure locations to conduct criminal matters. In order to be able to, to do uh, criminal trials on indictment, you have to have, there's certain arrangements that have to be put in place. You have to have cells and so on. Um, and when we looked at the, at the cost, so, so for, for example, we have two courts functioning at King Garden because there are cells there that right. can be used for those courts, okay? Mm -hmm. um, we've, we'd committed to bringing in additional temporary judges and those trials would have to take place in a place with cells. Right. We have investigated the possibility of retrofitting a number of installations, but those all prove to be challenging in terms of, of cost-benefit analysis. Um, and therefore, we've decided just to delay the bringing on of those additional judges until we come back to White Park Road. Trinidad and Tobago conglomerate Massey Group is reporting a decline in profits in Barbados due mainly to a slowdown in consumer spending. Despite this, the company is reporting an overall commendable performance for 2018 after two previous disappointing years. Barbados Today's Marlon Madden has more. In its annual report for last year, Chairman of the Board Robert Bermudez said overall the performance was admirable due mainly to cost compression initiatives and the indirect procurement program that was implemented in the year. While profits from operations in Trinidad and Tobago remained flat versus a 3% decline the prior year, profits from operations in Barbados for 2018 declined by 7%, which Bermudez said was largely driven by the slowdown of consumer spending that accompanied the government's austerity measures. Stating that the group was on an excellent trajectory for future growth, he said this year the company would be enhancing its initiatives to communicate with shareholders, investors, analysts, and brokers. Chief Executive Officer Gervais Warner said last year the group achieved a strong performance despite the recent economic challenges in Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados, which impacted Massey's heritage companies in the automotive and retail sectors. Thanks, Marlon. Sports Now. 
Guyana Jaguars defeated Barbados Pride by six wickets to win their third round encounter in the Cricket West Indies Regional four-day championships at Kensington Oval yesterday. Chasing 45 to win in 16 overs, the defending champions secured a 48 for four wickets in 8.3 overs. The North Out batsmen were Leon Johnson on 11 and Raymond Riffel, who ended the match with a 6 of left arm spinner Jamal Warrican on 10. There's regional and international news after this short break. Barbados Today, news you can trust. In news from our regional neighbors, officials in the Bahamas continue to apprehend illegal Haitian migrants in their territorial waters. As we hear in this ZNS news report, over 100 Haitians have entered the country illegally since the start of the year. Just six days into the new year, officials from the Royal Bahamas Defense Force and Department of Immigration have already apprehended some 304 illegal migrants in four interception exercises. In the most recent apprehension, 108 Haitian nationals were apprehended between New Providence and Exuma. Harold Thurston, the chief immigration officer who took charge of the enforcement unit in September back in 2018, says immigration officers do the best with the resources available to them. He also issued this warning to illegals and the residents who harbor them. Well, I hope this doesn't happen too often, even though we know it will. But we, 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 we will be here. We will do what is necessary. The government has given us a mandate that we need to carry out, and we're going to do it to the best of our ability. We want the Haitian community to know that um, this is a land of laws and regulations, and if they're going to come, they have to come the right way. Anytime they come the way they came in both laws, we're going to apprehend them. We're going to do our best to apprehend them. And persons who hire illegal immigrants, we're going to be coming after you as well. And finally, on the international scene, the number of human trafficking victims is on the rise. That's according to the latest global report on trafficking in persons, which was launched yesterday. The report also revealed that armed groups and terrorists are trafficking women and children to generate funds and recruit them. The report found a clear increase in the number of children being trafficked and who now account for 30% of all detected victims, with far more girls detected than boys. And that's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadistoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook, or sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals, as well as Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. And you can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. Good morning. <music>